At this family business in Birmingham, mum and son take a break from work to take notes on the budget. Today, we set out a plan to protect the jobs and livelihoods of the British people. So does it deliver? It's more of a relief rather than a sense of pleasure that it's a great budget. It's certainly not added to any of my problems. With nine staff on furlough, Naeem welcomes the extension to the scheme. It's good for them and the company. As a business owner, I haven't got to go out and recruit or rearrange things. I've got staff here who are part of the business who can continue to help me once we can open back up properly. In the city centre, the continued business rates discount and cut in VAT will help pub owner Karen Ansley. Because obviously with all the costs that go into it and because we're so behind and we haven't, we've lost out on so many take-ins, any help would be gratefully received really at the moment. While another business grant sounds promising, she's not holding her breath. Karen is still waiting for £5,000 promised last November. And the Chancellor can't provide certainty about when customers will return. Has there been a point during this last year that you thought, I don't think we can carry on? Quite a few times. Yeah, I think at the beginning of the second lockdown, we were a bit like, is it worth carrying on? But we've got our dream and we're going to do it. And from the city centre, with its shut shops and empty offices, to the business park on the outskirts, still in hibernation, the question is how many businesses will emerge? This MOT and service garage is the only premises open here. It's making up for the sales operation being closed. The business rates reduction will help owner Cameron, but the real test will be whether people start spending again. Since we've had the Christmas period and now you know, lockdown three, as we're calling it, uh, we are hoping uh, in April when things ease, we'll see a massive pent up demand just coming through and the car sales you know, going off the chart again. The Chancellor is hoping so too, that he's done enough to make the road to recovery less bumpy. Tessa Chapman, Five News, Birmingham.